What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Black 2 walkthrough. In the last episode, we headed through Route 22, saw Terrakion, but didn't even bother to catch it. And we also met up with Chorus, who was kind enough to give us his machine, which will help us move this Crustle out of the way so we can um, see what's on the other side of this exit. So, just hit A on the Crustle, and boom, look at that, it pops up. Yo, maybe I can send out my Crustle and they'll become friends or something. And you will uh, get into a battle with this guy. However, I think you can just run away. I hope you can at least because, I don't know, I don't really want to deal with a Crustle right now. So, can we just run and we'll be good? Yeah, there we go. Oh, but the machine broke. Oh, hey, Chorus. Uh, so, sorry about that, man. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to break your machine. Anyways, on the other side... You're going to um, meet up with, well, first, you're going to see the Plasma Frigate before Hugh will join you. And yeah, that is the big flying ship that we saw in Opelucid City, but now it is on water. This thing can go through, like, any terrain, apparently. So then someone else is going to come into the picture, and it ends up being a Marlin who, like, puts down the staircase. Somehow he was on the ship. I don't even know how. And, uh, yeah, Marlin and the entirety of Humilo City is pretty funny because I think he talked about it a bit after the gym battle, but, like, no one around here really knows about Team Plasma, which I find pretty funny, so he was just, like, you know, he happened to be on the ship and's like, hey, yeah, I put down the staircase, now I'm gonna leave, because he doesn't really care about Team Plasma, and I just find that pretty hilarious. Anyways, Hugh is going to run onto the ship, and I don't really think there's anything around here um, for surfing. There may be an item down here. I can't really remember. No, there isn't. Not even a hidden one. All right. So it's time to head on to the Plasma Frigate. And you're going to be uh, right away getting into some battles. So here we go. Get ready for some, uh, some Team Plasma Grunts. And, you know, get ready for a lot of them because there is going to be a ton. Um, you're going to start with this battle on the deck and then you're going to have to go through the north um, side of the ship and actually do a double battle with you. And then after that, it gets a little interesting. Um, it kind of changes up depending on if you're playing black two or white two. I will explain it more once we get to that point. For now, I just want to focus on these battles and we got a burn, which was very nice because that Hyper Fang didn't do anything. And here comes a Garbodor. Um, I guess I'll just stay out for this guy and keep on flamethrowering. Thank goodness for flamethrower, man, because heat crash was all right, but flamethrower is just way better, even though I think Embor has less special attack. But um, yeah, this move is doing just fine, and I'm going to finish you off with strength. I think this might be my first time using strength, but I might as well. And I will need to heal that toxic very soon. Um, speaking of healing... You'll probably want to stock up on a good bit of healing items. However, there is a little healing spot on the ship as well later on. So you don't have to um, stock up on a ton of items, but I did anyways. And yeah, those two grunts are going to run off and he was like, oh, we got to go after them. You know, he's he's obsessed with these guys, I got to say. So where are my full heals? Here we go. I got 35 of them. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm big chilling. And for the double battle, I think I want to throw Bear Tick to the front. Seems like he'll be a good option to start. So let's check out the rest of this deck. Um, this area right here in this entrance is going to be blocked off. This guy's actually sleeping. So yeah, don't really worry about those two places. Um, you'll have to access them later on in the giant chasm. Up here is there. Yeah, I, I knew there was an item on one of the sides. It is the TM for Retaliate. We already got the TM earlier from Lenore. Oh, wait. Nope, that's... That's Pokemon Black and White. Um, yeah. Uh, so disregard what I just said. And on the north side of the ship is a revive. So you will uh, see Hugh standing here, and um, he's gonna be like, "Oh, we gotta go in." Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do it, Hugh. Let's head on in. And immediately you're gonna get into a double battle. So definitely make sure you are healed up and ready to go. But yeah, we have a double battle with Hugh. I mean, we only do a few of these throughout the game. I think the last one was in Lacunosa Town against Zinzolin, and I accidentally tapped the speed up button there. My fault. And they have a Golbat and Viper to start. But yeah, I mean, all the Team Plasma Pokemon are going to be in like the high 40s, so definitely uh, be prepared. You know, they're not fooling around. And I'm going to use Icicle Crash 
And why are y'all attacking me, man? I guess I'm the lower level Pokemon. Really, Samurai, you went for Encore. What are you doing? We get a crit too. Oh my goodness. All right, this is not a good start. But Icicle Crash will take you out. I'm probably going to switch out though. Um, yeah, Smokey just got beat up right there. All right, so we can probably expect some poison type moves. So let's go into Krusty then. He got like zero action in the last episode. So might as well start using him today. But it's just because Krustle is one of the higher level mons on the team. Yeah, attack Samurai. That's right. He deserves it after using Encore. Like really, Encore is your first turn move. What are you doing? All right, there we go. He finally starts to attack. Yeah, I mean... Hugh, you can never trust his AI, but, I mean, his Samurai is level 50. It is pretty darn strong, I will admit. You can see it one shot right there, and, yeah, Exit is not really going to do anything, so we're going to go for Rock Slide. Unfortunately, we don't outspeed. Can you not go for Encore? Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, Hugh? What are you doing? You think you're ever... Oh, and then we missed the Drapion. Great. Bro, you think you're ever going to get your, uh, whatever you're looking for, the Purloin back? By being stupid? I mean, come on. Now, fortunately, um, Samurott isn't the only Pokemon that he will use. If that thing does go down, then uh, he will send out his other Pokemon. So, you're not going to be, like, left alone in this battle. Um, and really, this whole double battle isn't, you know, that difficult. Hugh can just be stupid sometimes, and that can really screw you over. And looks like Krusty gets to level 50, the second Pokemon on the team to reach level 50. And you're trying to get Flail? No. Really, this late in the game, Flail isn't that great. And I swear, every time I do have Flail, I'll be in red health, and it'll still only do like a third of the um, opponent's health. So it's not that strong. Let's eat up that nice Slash Baby. And yeah, Samurai is going to finish the job. And we will defeat these two Plasma Grunts. So the unfortunate thing, though, is that behind these guys, you probably saw there was some big like electric gate or whatever blocking your way. And uh, you have to turn off this gate using those switches that you can get to from those warp panels that you see on the side. So um, we're going to need to, you can see the little red switches there. We're going to need to find a way to get to all four of these little rooms. However, if you're playing Pokemon White 2, you're actually going to need a password. And there's going to be a little thing to enter your password in here. And uh, that is going to be how you turn off these switches. And yeah, if you get too close, you actually get like shocked or something. But um, that is where Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 kind of switch up a little bit because now we're going to go downstairs. And in Black 2, well, actually, the this little room is going to be the same, but the trainers are going to be different, I believe. And uh, yeah, in Black 2, you're going to be looking for warp panels to try and turn off the switches. In White 2, you're going to be looking to battle Team Plasma Grunts and uh, talk to them after the battle in order to get hints at what the password could be. Um, no matter what, though, you are going to end up doing both puzzles because whichever puzzle you don't do here in the Giant Chasm by, or sorry, here in the Plasma Frigate by the Seaside Cave, you will end up doing in the Giant Chasm. So either way, you're going to be stuck doing uh, both of these puzzles. Just in Black 2, you have to do the warp panels first, and in White 2, you have to do the password first. But I'm going to start by taking on some uh, some trainers. And we got a ton of Team Plasma Grunts to to battle, so I'm not going to show off every single one of them. But uh, yeah, this guy only has one Pokemon, so it's not too bad. And as you saw, there's a ton of different rooms on the side. So, you know, if you're if you're playing White 2, not all of the Grunts will give you a hint to the password. Um, and same with Black 2, um, not all the rooms will have, you know, the correct warp panel. Some of them might just take you to other rooms. What I'm going to do is just literally take down all of the grunts first and then at the very end we will um go through the warp panels and uh see if we can find the switches because i'm not gonna lie i don't remember where the right warp panels are but i will do my best but yeah you know me i'm trying to get all the experience i can especially with my team being slightly under leveled at this stage in the game so i just want to take on all the grunts even though i'm pretty sure you can avoid like a majority of the grunts in this place but I definitely want to get this EXP. So down goes the one Grunt and then this other one over here running back and forth. This is the only other trainer that you can fight in the main room. And then I'm kind of just going to take it room by room fighting the trainers. And then um, we, will, uh, we will be able to do the switches. And in one of the rooms, um, no matter which game you're playing, 
or doesn't matter which game you're playing, uh, there will be a, uh, a healing spot, like some beds that you can rest on, so that's very nice. Um, so yeah, you don't really need too many healing items from the Pokemon if you don't want to, you know, spend a ton of money, but I still did anyways because, I don't know, usually I find myself ending up with like um, a ton of healing items left over for the Elite Four, which ends up helping out because then I don't have to spend too much money at the Pokemon League. And Drapion, I will finish you off with an Arm Thrust. That's too easy, baby. That's too easy. All right, so down goes the Drapion, almost level 49. And I'm going to start in the Southwest Room. That's just the order that my guide kind of goes. So let's uh, let's see. There's Yeah, there's a total of six rooms, three on each side. And we're just going to start by taking on the Grunts. And look at that. There's a ton of warp panels everywhere. It's so annoying. That Grunt just had three Ponyards. And because I had Embor in the front of the party, you know exactly how that battle ended up. But yeah, let's take on the second trainer in this room. And then we're going to move on to the Northwest Room. I'm pretty sure the... Uh, yeah, there's two rooms that don't have trainers. So um, I'm pretty sure it's the Southeast Room and the West Room. Or like Middle West Room. Whatever you want to call it. And here's a Scraggy. We're super effective once again. I want to make sure that Lipar doesn't fall too far behind, so I'm going to try to get him some action today as well. It's just, unfortunately, we're going up against a ton of, like, dark types and stuff, so he can't really do too much. But yeah, Lipar's still sitting at level 47. And, uh, you know, lipard has been a good Pokemon. Um, I feel like, you know, I've been doing a decent job in proving that, like, Lipar's not just some terrible dark type at the start of the game that, you know, people just overlook. But, uh, you know, it definitely has its weaknesses still, for sure. I mean, you can see this arm thrust is going to demolish it. Well, okay, yeah, I was about to say, if we only get two hits, then it's not even going to kill. But there we go. We take it down. Bacon gets up some more XP, uh, EXP. I was trying to say experience and EXP at the same time. And let's throw Garfield to the front now. Let's see what you can do in the next battle. Real quickly, though, I do want to show off the West Room because I think this is where you can heal up. And I might as well heal while I'm here. Um, yeah, there's one trainer. And, oh, she gives us a picture of Reshiram and Zekrom. So, yeah, you can get them registered as seen in your Pokedex, which is pretty nice. And, oh, is it not this room? Okay, maybe it's the one on the other side then. I guess that's just the room to... Get the two legendary Pokemon the scene in your Pokedex, which is pretty convenient. I'm not going to lie. And now we can take on this guy. I like how they're sort of hiding out in these bunk beds. Also, there's like four bunk beds in each room, but there's a less than four Team Plasma Grunts in each room. Then again, you have some like running around outside. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe those are their beds. But it seems like Team Plasma kind of overdid it with the bunk beds. All right, I'm going to try my best to defeat this Garbodor. This thing can be very annoying, though. And it's kind of bulky, too. And Sludge Bomb's going to do a lot of damage. It'll probably poison us, too. It did not poison us, which is nice. Garfield, this would be the time for a critical hit. This would be a great time for a critical hit. I'm not going to lie. All right, you know what? I think we can actually still kill it. I thought it'd be a 4 co, but... Oh, we get poisoned. Come on, man. Nah, we're fine. Garbodor doesn't have any priority moves. Come on. I mean, look at that thing. Is that a Pokemon that looks like it have a priority move? Does it look like an extreme speed type of Pokemon? No, not at all. So down you go. And there we go. Level 48 for Lipard. So yeah, you're doing, you're doing just fine, Garfield. You're doing just fine. I am going to uh, heal you up though. Even though, I mean, I know there's a healing room on here, but... I want to do it anyways, just in case I want to use you um, in some of the other battles. However, for this next fight, though, I think I'm going to throw Embor back to the front. Yeah, I guess having a fire fighting type is, uh, you know, pretty convenient here with Team Plasma. And that guy's Whirlipede and Watchhog did not stand a chance. Not sure why he didn't have a Scolipede, though, but, you know, evil teams, they never evolved their Pokemon for whatever reason. So now we're in the... Southeast room. Oh, and now they're saying a warning intruders in the vessel. Dude, I have gone through like three other rooms already. Yeah, I, I guess their security system is really bad. I was kind of worried there for a second though. I just stopped moving, but I forgot that piece of dialogue pops up. And yeah, we're going to take on this grunt. She's the only one in the Southeast room. And uh, yeah, or sorry, I guess uh, I said Southeast room earlier was one of the ones that didn't have trainers in it i guess it is the northeast room is what i meant to say also in that last battle embor learned head smash 
And um, that's a really strong rock type move. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of recoil moves. However, I got rid of rock slide just because, I don't know, head smash is awesome. So why not? I mean, I didn't really use rock slide that much anyways. Um, but Embor does have pretty good type coverage. So I'm sure we'll get around to using head smash maybe a couple of times. Just got to be careful with it though because it's really strong, but that means it does a lot of recoil damage. Um, this run's kind of cool though. It has a couple of dinos and then a Sneasel. And for Sneasel, uh, let's let's go to Crustle. Yeah, why not? But yeah, I mean, this is something a little different than the usual like Ponyards and Lipards and all that stuff. So that is pretty cool. And I'm going to give you a Rock Slide. That should do the trick. And then we only have one room left, at least with trainers. Then we're going to check out that last room, which I think that is the healing room. Unless I'm really just remembering wrong and you can't heal in here. But I find that hard to believe because it'd suck if you have to go all the way back to Humilo City to heal up. Alright, so we got a uh, Weezing coming up in the next battle. We'll put Garfield back to the front. Might as well. It was able to take down the last Poison type. So, you know, we might as well go at it again. And, oh, this guy's, like, right by the entrance. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone, all right? Y'all are, like, the last the last wall of defense before I turn off all of those switches. So, uh, you better have something good, but, again, it's just a wheezing. Then again, it could explode. Oh, no. It could explode. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna Night Slash you. I can't remember. Is it wheezing or muck that has better physical defense? Oh, looks like wheezing. But, uh, yeah, I always forget between those two Pokemon because one has better physical defense and one has better special defense. By the way, it looks like my guide does show me where the right warp panels are, so that's pretty nice. Y'all won't have to watch me, you know, wander around. And, oh, no, not Sludge Bomb. Why couldn't you have kept on going for double hit, you idiot? Oh, I hate you. You poisoned me and everything. And you're, like, at that range where I don't know if a Night Slash is going to kill... So I'm just going to switch out. I'll play it safe, even though I want to take the risk. I really do, but uh, I can't have Garfield die. He's definitely died the most in this playthrough, I feel like, just because of how frail he is, but it's okay. But yeah, as I was saying, you guys won't have to watch me walk around and take every single warp panel to figure out which ones are the right one. Um, most of them are just going to send you like between rooms and stuff. It can get a little confusing, but uh, I will make sure to step on the right ones, which will take you to... The switches, and that was Donald's first action in this episode because, you know, he was just such a beast in the last episode. Literally killed, like, everything in his path. And now it's time for the other grunt, the final grunt to take on, at least in this section, you know. We're going to be having a lot more Team Plasma Grunts to fight coming up in the Giant Chasm. There's a couple of big battles um, here as well. Like, once you do get rid of those electrical gates or whatever you want to call them, there's still some more big-time battles, so... Yeah, definitely don't think you are uh, you are done with this place just yet. And Intimidate kind of sucks because I'm going for Horde and Leech, but you're just a Croc Rock, so we're still going to kill. Again, not sure why that is not a Crocodile, but that's Team Plasma for you. And Eradicate. Um, all right, Bacon. You can finish the job here then, and then we will, uh, we will find all of the switches. I will go ahead and say for White 2, though. I should have said this earlier, but... The possible passwords that you can get, um, it's kind of weird. A couple of them are like a set of numbers and the other two are the legendary Pokemon. So there's a total of five different passwords that they could be. Um, it's kind of just random with your game file, but they can be Zekrom or Reshiram. Those are the two legendary ones. 9909, 7707, or 2202. So um, yeah, I'd say the passwords are a bit more difficult because uh because again you actually have to battle some of the trainers to get hints and figure out which uh which password it is and yes the northeast room is the healing room looks like there is also an item down here i don't know why i couldn't pick it up but it is a magmarizer and yeah this grunt in here is nice i guess and he will uh he will not make us fight him so we're going to start in the northwest room and in the top left warp panel, this is going to be the first one that you can go to and that'll turn off one of the gates. Yeah, so first one down, three more to go. And next up, we're going to go to the east room, so the one that we were just in a second ago. 
and looks like it will be also the top left corner of the room. As a matter of fact, three of these uh, warp panels are in the top left corner of the room. The other one is in the bottom right. So next up, we're going to go to the southeast room since it is just below us. And this one will be in the bottom right corner. And this will turn off the third switch. And then uh, I'm pretty sure, um, well, you can't really see from here, but I think there's a warp panel behind that little gate that will uh, take you elsewhere. So that's kind of going to be the next place to go. And the last warp panel is in the southwest room. And it is, once again, the top left corner. So, yeah, um, those are all four switches that you need if you're playing Black 2. And if you're playing White 2, you'll be doing the same thing, but just later on in the game. So, we have turned off all of the switches. And I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Next time, we will head back to where we were when we did that double battle with Hugh. And see what else is going on with Team Plasma. For now, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until then, deuces!